So today we're going to be doing a take apart of the Curve 9360. Um, this is just a replacement to the video that I made a while ago when the phone first came out. Um, I didn't take it apart as easily as it could have been done and the quality is horrible. So hopefully this is an improvement. Um, you only need a few tools. You need a T4, a screwdriver, a case opener tool and maybe a pick. Okay, so let's get started. First we'll take the battery out. So there's two screws in the back. Take those out right away. Okay, so now that you have those two screws off, we're gonna go ahead and take off this bezel around the side here. Now for that, you can probably use your nail. If your nail isn't strong enough, use the pick or the opener tool and just separate the clips. Um, it's pretty tough, but don't, don't heave on it or anything. Just. Uh, you know, be a little bit gentle. Um, I've done this a hundred times and this phone is already broken. But uh, yeah, be gentle with it. It'll pop right off. Try not to break the sides. Once that's off, use the clip again or the opener tool, it doesn't matter. And you're gonna find on the side of the screen, there's a couple clips. You're gonna pull them up. So in this procedure, we're not gonna need a heat gun. The heat gun is only if you're gonna change the lens, because a lot of times when you order the lens on eBay, you don't get the frame. Okay, so unclip those. And the screen will pop right off. The lens, anyways, that's not the screen. Put that aside. Same goes with the keyboard. The keypad, okay, unclip. Unclip. Keypad comes off, the plastic. Okay, now there's four more screws in the inside here. We're gonna take off those four black screws on the inside with the T4 screwdriver. The top two screws will remove the speaker with the little assembly. I leave the screws in with it. The bottom two screws is to remove the keypad. Okay, pick that out. So in here you have the mic, the keypad, and all that stuff. Now the back plate should come off easily now. Put that aside there, okay? Now here, I'm gonna go over a couple things. I don't know how clearly you can see this. This is the SIM card slot. Someone recently asked me about replacing that, and that's the memory card slot. This whole assembly can be replaced very easily. Um, you take the, the opener tool here. It's two-way taped on, try not to break it. If you're replacing it anyways, it's not a big deal. But you can unplug it, lift it up, don't yank it off, lift it up carefully. And you can see here, the connector there and the connector here. You can order this piece separately and replace your SIM card slot or memory card slot. Very easy procedure, no soldering, nothing crazy. Okay, now here we have the LCD connector. So unplug that with your nail or a plastic opener tool. Okay. This one I've already applied heat to, but you can apply just a little bit of heat up here and here to, to unglue the assembly from the motherboard. However, do not apply too much heat because there's a little battery here and you don't want to move any of the chips around, just a little bit. If anything, what you do is you slide the pick or an opener tool in between on either side, gently, or you're gonna break your LCD. But anyways, here's the connector here. Unplug that. There you have your keypad assembly with the LCD. Now the LCD is another thing. Heat up this metal plate as much as you can without doing any damage and then you can pry the LCD off. I'm not gonna actually do this in this procedure because I'm not changing the LCD, but there you go. So now the trackpad, we put it back on. Make sure that, the, uh, that it's upside down like this when you plug it in because it's gonna fold over. Okay, fold it back over. Okay, then we plug in the keypad. Uh, flex cable here, just line it up nicely and push it in. Now that the keypad, the trackpad's in, we plug in the keypad, 
It's right there. Make sure the LCD connector goes on around the uh, back of the motherboard. Flip it around and plug the connector in gently. Make sure it lines up nicely here. Make sure the trackpad's clicking good and it's centered. Then we turn the motherboard around and plug in the uh, SIM card reader again. If you took it off, you don't have to take it off unless you're replacing it or you're replacing the motherboard. Line it up there and push it in and that's the only way it can go, so that's it. Take the back here and line it up, okay? And then uh, put the two little pieces, the top and bottom piece back on with the, the four black screws. Okay, starting with this side here. Don't over tighten it ever. You're gonna break them, these are very fragile. And then the bottom one, the, this little groove here slides underneath uh, the keypad and then keypad goes over it. Okay. Again, do not over tighten. Just as soon as it starts to get snug, that's it. There we go. Okay, now the keypad goes on first and then the screen. Okay, there's two little um, grooves here and they, they slide inside the little slots on the actual uh, flex cable assembly here. Slide those in first and then proceed to click the sides in. Make sure the clips go in both ends. Okay, make sure that you see that the clip actually went through. And then you do the, uh, the screen. Now the screen is the exact same idea, okay? Make sure the clips go in. There's a couple of clips on the top too, they're plastic. And the sides here, make sure they go in nicely. Okay, now don't push too hard on the LCD, you will break it, this will break. Just put it push enough. Okay, and then we put the, uh, the bezel on. And the thick part goes in the bottom. And just go like this. and uh, snap the connect, uh, not the connectors, the clips all into place until it, uh, it looks straight and uh, perfect. Okay. And then we put the two screws in at the bottom that are left here. Straight and easy. Then we put the last screw in and we're done. Okay, put the battery in, and we're good to go. So I've been waiting a long time to do, redo that video. I've just been, uh, I guess, too busy. Um, I'm gonna be deleting that one soon. Um, I did that replacement, uh, or that take apart when it first came out and I really didn't know what I was doing. Because um, I, I was learning as I, as I did the video. So now, I mean, th this has been a long time coming. So I'm just gonna delete that video and replace it with this one. Thanks for putting up with the other one and uh, thanks for watching the new one.